Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show how we can create a sheet metal emboss using the sheet metal punch tool that you can find inside of Autodesk Inventor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to start out with this flat piece of sheet metal and I'm going to use that to generate my eye feature. I can save this for later and reuse it if I ever make any changes. So we'll start out by making a sketch and I'm going to draw a circle that represents the outside profile of my emboss. Notice that I'm going to name the parameter so I can recall it at a later date. Once that's renamed, I can go ahead and call up a second circle. This will represent the inside surface of my emboss. I'm going to use an offset dimension this time, and I'm going to set it equal to the thickness parameter. This will allow it to change when I change my material thickness. Now one more step, we're going to grab a center point and add that to the center of the sketch. This will allow me to locate the punch when I place it on my part. With that step done, we'll finish the sketch and we'll switch to our modeling tools. Notice we're going to use modeling tools, not sheet metal tools to create this. That's okay. So I'll go ahead and take my extrusion and change my settings, making sure to add a depth, which I'm going to add, make thickness times two, and I'll add a taper of negative 15 degrees to make sure I have an appropriate taper. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and accept that. Get that in, and now we have the first step of our emboss. Next, I'll find the sketch inside my browser, right click and choose Share Sketch so I can reuse this. Now we're going to extrude the center circle and this is going to represent the inside of my emboss. So I want to make sure to remove material and I'm going to set this equal to thickness so it holds the correct shape. I'll also go to my taper, choose Show Dimensions and select the taper angle for my previous feature so those both line up correctly. Now one more step for this feature, we're going to go ahead and add the fillets. Large fillets on the surfaces that would require a large fillet. Notice that I'm going to use the thickness parameter to reuse those. Once we get those set up correctly, We'll accept those and then we'll add some smaller fillets to represent the corresponding fillets on the inside surface of this emboss. So now our emboss is done, the next step is to go ahead and extract this and make this an eye feature. One thing we may want to do is go ahead and test the thickness to make sure that this emboss updates correctly should we change the material thickness. And I'm going to go ahead and test for that with the measure tool. And you can see the thickness does change correctly. So let's go ahead and get this guy going. So now with him done, we'll go ahead and reset our thickness. Go to the Manage tab and let's extract our eye feature. We'll go ahead and choose the features we want, either from the screen or the browser. Make sure to designate this as a sheet metal punch and notice how it extracted the parameters, which is what we want. And it also chose the sketch and a face that we're going to use to position this. The face is for the fillets, the sketch is for that point. We can also give this punch a name, should it be some sort of engineering standard, and choose a sketch for a sketch representation on the drawing. Saving that out, we can go ahead and save that into a directory where we can retrieve it later. And this is going to be an IDE file, which is a file for an eye feature or a punch. Once that do that's done, we have our eye feature created. So now let's go ahead and place this on a real part. So we have this piece and we're going to place it now. So I'm going to choose a face, create a sketch on that face, and I'm going to draw some positioning to draw geometry to help me line this up. Just a line for positioning, 
and then a point that's going to be the center of my punch when I place this. Once it's done, I can go to my sheet metal punch tool, browse to my punch, and begin the placement process. It locates on that point, that's part of the punch's function, but I also need to show it a face so it can set up its fillets. That's this opposite face right here. Once that's done, I can go ahead and go to size and change the size if I want to make a different size. So let's go ahead and put in a size, finish it, and in goes my emboss. But you can see this is way too big. I've overestimated. All is not lost though. I can find my feature, right click and choose edit eye feature, go right back to sizing and shrink it down. That's more like it. So there we go. A quick example of how you can create an emboss using the sheet metal punch tool inside of Autodesk Inventor. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch.